Hi everyone, I'm Kate Keener, Desert Sands Unified Elementary Math Support. And I just want to let you know I'm recording this on March 28th, 2020. So you have a little reference in case things change. This is going to be a little helping video on how to access Think Central and how to assign Think Central math work um, to your students. And I'm going to be using this agenda here and I'll be referring back to it as we go. So the first thing you have to do is log into Desert Sands uh, Google Chrome. So if you're on a Chromebook, you just open the Chrome app, the Chrome browser, like so. Here I go. And if you're not on a Chromebook, if you're on a home computer, then you need to download the Chrome browser. And then you can go to Desert Sands Unified School District home website, dsusd.us. Scroll down, and under here, under Staff Resources, you log in by going to DSUSD Google Apps. So you can click that, click on Staff, and then log in. Another option is if you're on a home computer and you have the Chrome app, just make sure that you're using your Desert Sands login and not your home Gmail. So I can't show you here, but at the top, there may be a menu bar that says people and you click on the people and switch it from your home Gmail account to your school Gmail account. How do you know if you're logged in? You can, you see your face. If you put your face picture here or you click on your icon here and it says your school email at desertsands.us. Okay. So if you're logged in with your Desert Sands email into Chrome, then you have access to your waffle. And to get to your waffle, you can open a new tab. It will be on the My Drive page or also on an email page. This waffle should look like and appear just like your waffle at school if you're on a school computer. And again, if you're on a Chromebook, this is all easier. You didn't have to log in because you logged in at the beginning and your waffle should be there on any new tab. So we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna click on Think Central. So when you click on the Think Central icon, it should not ask you to log in. If it asks you for a name and password, then you did something wrong. If you're logged into your school account, it should automatically log you in and take you to this homepage. Now, before you can assign any work, you do have to set up your class and manage your class. I do not have a video instruction for that. I only have a PDF instruction, which is posted on the elementary uh, distance learning math support webpage, which looks like this. Not webpage, it's a Google presentation that we're sharing with you. So to set up your class, you have to do that here. Many teachers do it at the beginning of the year, but in case you've never done it, you can click on this PDF here. So that needs to be completed before you can assign any work. Now you can view resources without that done, um, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So when you go to this home page, we have like a quick start guide to resources. So you would click on your grade. And here you see your teacher edition, the interactive student edition. You have the practice book, TE means teacher edition. So that has the answers. The student edition, that's the ebook, is different than the practice book. So the ebook is like the textbook and the practice book is for them, like their practice worksheets. So here's some quick resources um, that are like highly used, okay? Quick resources and how to view materials. All right, so I usually don't go through here unless you wanna view an entire practice. I usually, I always, and I don't use this search because that will come up with a bunch of different materials and some of them aren't even aligned to the California standards or the national standards. So I recommend going through browse and we're gonna go on a, a clicking journey together. So we're gonna hit browse and then pick your grade. 
I'll do grade four, California math, sorry, California Go Math grade four. And then from here, we're going to go to program structure and then pick a unit, whatever unit we're on. What unit did you just leave off with? Pick a chapter. Now, when you pick a chapter, these are the chapter resources. So you see you have your review test and then the test, but you want to go into a lesson then you have to click on a lesson. So let's pick lesson three. And here click lesson level resources. Okay, should we do that again? Let's do that again. Let's go home. Okay, home. Ready, browse. I'm gonna click the browse button, click the grade. I think I picked a different grade. Is that okay? Here, I'll do a grade four and then program structure. Pick the unit. And then you see the chapters in there. So if you're not sure what unit, that's okay. Just go to the different unit and we'll go chapter seven, lesson three. Okay. Now from here, we're going to click on lesson level resources. And now we're inside lesson three for chapter seven. There's two things that you can do here. You can view the resources and then you resources and then you can assign a resource. So to view a resource, you just click on it. Most teachers use this ISE student view lesson because it's an instructional video where the kids can answer and practice. And then here's the practice book page. So some teachers only use these two things and that's okay. So if you click on it, you can see the instructional video. Some teachers show this in the classroom. If you've never seen this before, this is what the students can watch while they're at home. And there's sound um, and it will guide the kids through the lesson. There's some sound, not sure if you can hear that. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. And then you have here the practice book. So if you just wanna view the resource, you just click on it and you can view the resource here. Now this is something that students can have on their device and then they can answer on paper. Okay, so if you wanna assign this to the kids, then you just click this button assign and it says how long do you want the window open and what students do you want to assign it to. Um, once you do that, it will appear in the students to do list. Okay, once you assign a lesson in Think Central, you have to tell the kids to go to Think Central in order to do the lesson. So we recommend doing that through whatever platform you decided to use to communicate with your students. So are you using email, Synergy, Remind, or I? the easiest way, in my opinion, is the Google Classroom. So every day you can make an announcement and your announcement might look like, um, here are all my Google Classrooms, but you can click on your Google Classroom and type something in right here, like, good morning, students. Your lesson for today is Unit 2, Chapter 7, Lesson 3. Please log in to Think Central um, in order to do that lesson. Let me show you. So you would do something like this. Hello, students. Today, go into Think Central and you would paste this in, or if you have their assignments for the day, their English, their writing, their PE, you know, science, social study, whatever you're doing for the day or for the week, you would just tell them to go to Think Central to view that, and then you hit post, okay? Um, let's check our agenda here. So, troubleshooting. <laughs> What if you try all this and it doesn't work? Here's what I recommend. 
I recommend um, having a teacher at your site that is very good at Think Central become your buddy teacher and they can help you out. Um, I don't have any students, so I can't practice assigning to kids and I can't figure out if you're having trouble uh, through email. It's very difficult for me to help you when you're describing a situation when I can't see it. So first check with a teacher at your site that uses Think Central a lot. Um, my other very good suggestion is to use Google Hangouts. Now again, if you've never used Google Hangouts, that's okay. It's in the waffle. So open a new tab and go to your waffle. Google Hangouts is very much like Zoom. So if you're getting used to Zoom now, you can go to Hangouts. You can do just a message, a phone call, or a video call. And in the video call, you can share your screen. So if you want to do that with me and share your screen with me, you can click a message and you can click my name. Kate Keen, there's lots of Kate, so I'm Keener, Kate Keener, and send a message to me and then we can do a video call and share, you can share your screen with me and I can try and help you there. So it's like Zoom, but it's like Insta Zoom where we can help each other um, on the spot. The neat thing about Google Hangouts is that you can see if people are online or not. So if they have a green little dot next to them, then that means they're online right now and they can help you out. So we have our office hours as to where we're online. This video is going to be on this page and what this page is showing with the math support for distance learning is what I was talking about, the clicking. Once you're in Think Central, click on Browse, Go Math, your grade, program structure, your unit, chapter, lesson, lesson level resources, and then assign. Also on this page are more three PDFs on how to get started, how to assign, and then how to give assessments. So for now, that is just some tips on how to get started on the Think Central. I know logging in was a big um, a big trouble for some people and then how to get your class set up and then how to assign and then what to do what to do if you need help but if you need anything I am available via email again my name is Kate Keener and there's a few Kates and Katie's helping us out um, but k-a-t-e dot k-e-e-n-e-r at Desert Sands so thanks for watching and I hope this video, oops, sorry, I hope this video helped you out.